chair is just the best. Chair is just the best, no question. Alrighty, so we got uh, Stealth A failed in Sector 2 with a crazy double dodge guy that wrecked us. Then uh, Zoltan A was a pretty challenging run, but we got the win. And then Crystal A went pretty... Honestly, even though we didn't get great weapons, it's a pretty smooth run because of how uh, strong our early game was. So, one more random, my friends. One more random. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Three, two, one, and bam. Stealth B. Here it is, everybody. Here it is, the Streak Killer. This is the. I think this is the first time I've randomed this in any of my attempts. The Streak Killer. New streak time, let's see, let's see. All right, so help me remember all you um, hard no-pause streakers. What's the O2 trick? To trick them into shooting O2 instead of weapons. It's something like this, right? We need O2 to be below 50%, is that right? Below 50% the moment before the weapon fires. <laughs> the correct thing to do is press escape, go to hangar, and restart. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has to be this, I think. So, for those who don't know, what we're attempting to do here is you can semi-manipulate the AI to target certain systems based on certain states. If your O2 is below 50%, that will make... Things like laser shots or beam aiming go towards O2 instead of weapons. Because if they hit your weapons, you're basically dead on this ship. Stealthy is a spiritual successor to war games. Okay, I don't know what that is, but alright. The thing I will say about this ship is like, you know... If I lose... There's... there's I don't know how much skill there is involved in this ship. Okay, no offensive drones is good. Voiding is not good. That slows down our weapons. Oh, God. Okay, well, he hits us at 75% dodge. Just, just FTL things. Okay, I think we're okay now, though. Two damage missiles, so the ion might stay online, won't it? Yeah. Do we want early crew on this ship if they offer it for free? I would assume yes, but getting shields is so important on this ship. That option right there. I feel like I take it just because the ion's online, and if he hits my glade beam once out of the like four opportunities, we're reset again. Early crew is versus like eight scrap. Uh, well, I don't know. We don't know how much scrap it would be. This is would be high scrap, Pie Boy says. I think I take. I think I take the crew. Ship kill and slavers guaranteed high scrap, so it's like twenty. Mm. Honestly, I'm thinking of taking the deal just because. Like I said, a single ion into our weapons means we probably take more missile shots. Although he does have a mantis going to repair it. I'm gonna take this. I don't love it, but I'm just gonna do that. I feel like both both are pretty good. This if this keeps me from getting shields earlier, that could be the wrong choice. Yeah, fourth crew can also be very important on the ship. Yeah, that's not what I want. I don't want you in weapons because you moving out of weapons screws us. So we're gonna do this. Okay. Why are we not venting the ship? You weren't paying attention because we're trying to manipulate the AI into targeting O2 instead of cloaking. Although honestly, with half the ship vented, having your O2 broken seems a little sketchy, but if they just hit that, we can always repair it with the rest of the ship. Um, you know, having O2 in. But, like, because when your O2 is below 50%, the AI is more likely to shoot O2. It's like when your crew are in the clone bay being cloned, 
that raises the chance that they will shoot clone bait. You lost your personal best to an O2 kill, so yes, it isn't without risk. Yeah. All right, well, we're doing this. He's got mind control. God, the last guy had boarding. This guy's got mind control with Zoltan Shield. I honestly think I just allow that. Maybe I can get him here in time. Nope. Okay. We're gonna do two damage to weapons, so I think both those will go online, except maybe the ion stays online again, if that's a two damage missile. Okay, good. This ship is like one of those, it's just, it's, you're just guaranteed to take damage. There's just, there's just no stopping you taking damage sometimes, all the time. Oh, eight missiles and a drone part. Yes, yeah, so if it's more likely to hit O2, it's less likely to hit weapons, which is the entire point. Yeah. I think we need scrap. Yeah, I don't know how much more scrap we'll get than that, but let's see what this becomes. 12, okay. Three more, four more, I guess. I mean, talking about needing scrap, if that was like a six missile deal, there I feel like there's an argument for getting to the 15 missile mark if you lose out on three or four scrap and happen to get the cell missile deal. So there is there is a little bit of give and take there. So I feel like there's sometimes... I mean, all this is random. You never know if you're going to get that. So We don't have level two piloting, do we? No. There's also the frame perfect trick where you depower a weapon so the AI doesn't target them. I'm not going to try to do something like that on no pause. I'm not familiar with that. All right, well, I don't know what the ship has, so if it has beam drone, we're probably dead. Got drone control of some sort and a mini beam. I didn't do this. He hit my O2. Not sure if that's good. On fire. Okay, he didn't hit my weapons. Okay. I think we're okay here. O2 is on fire. And O2 is out, but we can fix that. I don't hear any more fires. Ooh, this ship is a tough one, man. You try to depower for some mini beams, but who knows if you have the timing right? You don't know anyone who says they're certain they do. Yeah, if, if Britnoth doesn't know about getting the timing right, I'm definitely not going to attempt it on the first time I've played Stealth B Hard Mode No Pause in a month or two, so. Is early strat with a ship to cloak first volley or to cloak for first strike? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you what the difference between those is, but you pretty much always cloak the first time they fire at you. So I think that is first volley. Hollow tries, but he doesn't know if he's getting it right either. Distress. We have a beam. When you get level three cloaking, you tend to pre-cloak more. Well, okay, like in the in the fight we just did. I cloaked earlier than normal because there was an offensive drone. If there's offensive drone, you're not always cloaking the first volley because I, what I'm trying to do is see where the drone is aiming and if he's aiming towards my weapon, cloak before that goes off. But it's not even a guarantee either. That's 50-50 loose crew. I can't do that. There's a lot of little micro things in, in, in this ship, I think. Yeah, usually usually my attempt on this ship is to get level 3 cloaking, because then you can often get your volley off before their first strike. 
damn it. It's just another offensive drone. Damn it. Okay, it's fire drone. Okay. I think he gets a laser off, not my weapon. Fuck no! Okay, well, and that right there means we're pretty screwed. That right there means we're pretty darn screwed. And also why the ship sucks. A single shot into your weapons and you basically can't do anything. Pressing S, damn it. Can I win this? Uh, Glade Beam's almost up. I guess I try. Okay. Okay. God, this ship sucks. <laughs> yeah, easy game. So easy. I don't know why anybody thinks FTL is hard. Look at how easy this is. Lay it three seconds away. Yeah. Yeah, that was. That was. I was. I was thinking about running there. Nice micro. Well, the O2 being low serves a dual purpose. Also, it seems, helps against fire beam drones as well as um, giving it a, them a higher chance to not hear your weapons. But it sure didn't work that time again, uh, about not hitting our weapons. That damn uh, basic laser. Do I ever go to the store with 36 scrap? I think we avoid stores while we try to get our level 3 cloaking. Fire beam was the best drone for us there, to be honest. No. The best drone was a defense drone, Talon. <laughs> Any defensive drone was a thousand times percent better. Oh god, that's a heavy laser. And and more drones. Is this is this one of those Britain off that you don't take the fight? If you just see drone control and you have a choice, do you avoid it? It's a double reward. Okay. Well, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it, man. Hope for one defensive drone today. Okay, well, it's a boarding drone. That's that's better. Uh, is that better? Yeah, we'll get our cloaking off. Didn't get that perfectly, but okay. Is that going to shorten the time when it goes down halfway between? Not enough to matter, I don't think. That's the best offensive drone we could have the enemy show up with. Beautiful double reward. That'll get me the level 3 cloaking. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, thankfully he didn't end up in my weapons room. Honestly, that might have been the best room... Except for, apart from sensors, because if he went in engines, he would have messed up our dodge. If he went to weapons, it would have slowed down our weapons. Any other room would have been a one-system room, so that was probably the second best room he could have gone into. Okay. Let's go cloak three. How many jumps do I have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Doors had mantis in it, so it probably wouldn't have taken damage. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I assume we still do this trick even though we have the level 3 cloaking. They don't land in empty rooms. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, 
Offensive drones land in empty rooms. I, I think that's correct. Second Zoltan shield ship we've seen, but with level three cloaking, we should not take damage. And we could just insta cloak here, right? We don't have to like wait or anything. I want that to be right at the end. You keep using the lower two because you still have to cloak shots from ships with cloaking. Yeah, two weapon power, so. His eye on, oh god, these are these are some of the worst weapons though because they fire so fast. Do they actually get the volley off? Okay, the eye on, but not the other. So thank goodness. Oh, when did I turn auto fire on? I don't remember turning that on. I must have hit V <laughs> as I was panicking, pressing buttons earlier. Well, we did. We have survived the first 50 scrap gaining. <laughs> oh my god, another offer of this. These are really tempting crew deals. I think I have to skip this one, right? I need to get the 125 scrap for shields, 120. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. I want to, but it's 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 just not. We just can't do it. We gotta get the shields. We'll release eighty scrap for hacking. Okay. Ship will be a one shot. All right, as long as we keep seeing ships like this, we should be good. Power dodge and weapon buffer? Uh, I don't think those are the next things I need to get. As Britnoth says, we're pretty much reliant on killing them before they can do any damage with level 3 cloaking, so... I think the next scrap we spend is... Cloaking, hacking, or the weapon buffer, and weapon buffer I think is the bottom of that list. That's if we can't find either of those other things, I feel like. This one of the things that's so tough about this ship is uh, glaive beam. You need you need you need something else to get through shields. So not only do you need to get enough scrap to buy shields, you need to get enough scrap to get another weapon or hacking to be able to kill two and three shield ships consistently. Okay, that's nice blue option there with the level two sensors. We never got four with that. No, okay. Oh, those are the two fastest weapons. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, the layout's good, I think. God, heavy laser is like the worst weapon to come across, I think. I almost wonder if I need to hit weapons first because I'm not going to one-shot him, but this will guarantee I don't take damage, so I'm going to do this. The charge time is just so close. Okay. Need the scrap. Heavy laser and mini beamers just so fast. Even the travel time of the beam might have let the heavy laser go off. Oh, God. Okay, cloaking's back up in time. Okay, we're fine. Heavy laser one slightly too slow to ever hit, you think? I'm not sure about that. If it's far enough from where you start your beam shot, I think there are times heavy laser one can get off. But I'm not 100% sure on that either. I just, I was playing it safe there. I was pretty sure I never took damage if I did it the way I did it. 
Like, I could do this right now, but if the exit beacon is stored with shields... We go one, two, three. Do you ever dive sector one, but not to get shields? If we got enough scrap from these two jumps to get shields, would that be worth diving with level three cloaking? Cloaking three equals 15, plus heavy laser one, nine seconds. 15 plus 9 equals 24. Glaives, 22.5. I don't know if that answers the question, though. That's a beam drone. That's a fire drone. I'm letting that hit. I'm going to need to fix this. Uh, I think we're okay, though. Okay. Now, how do I fix this? I go now, I think. This might come back online. Oh god, oh god, am I dead? Oh! Okay, okay, that was freaking close. Okay, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Jesus, man. Uh, I mean, should I not vented the O2? I think I needed to vent the O2, right? Uh, <laughs> Oh god. So never dive phase one sector one, huh? I was playing with fire there. Yes, yes, I was playing with fire right there. I'm hoping that was a pun, because I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> oh man, even if you have shields, I don't think I afford them yet. You restore. You could vent somewhat fewer rooms when the ship is generally low, you suppose? How would venting fewer rooms have helped when he set my O2 on fire? Honestly, I would have needed to have my O2 prevented, and it still could have gone down with double fires, I think, so. I didn't prevent, and he's boarding me. Damn it. I do have somebody indoors, though. Just do that since he's going there. I guess we're going to find out. This is the same layout as previously. I kind of think this heavy laser shot's getting getting off. Because the travel time. But he doesn't have any weapons, so maybe this one will be... Okay, we're good. God, they're offering me all of the crew, man. God, it's an NG. Single blue option this pays for itself, man. We have enough scrap for hacking. You think the NG's worth? Um, I think I think I'm gonna take an NG. They're they're the single best crew for blue options. As long as we get one blue option before a store, it pays for itself, right? Our eyes, silly device, our eyes. <laughs> I hope you're my good luck charm. Whoops, my caps lock is on. And not my time to die charm. Doesn't take much to get a time to die charm on this ship, though. Get hidden glaive and repair it fast. Also, it's true that the repair the repair ability is super super relevant. Mantis or Zoltan, those seem like really bad choices. Uh, which is less scary, Mantis because we have crew to deal with borders, or Zoltan to have more store chances? Silly Device meme is because a uh, person that hangs out in chat a lot named Silly Device always asks to be the door NG. And with how consistent it was, we just do it automatically now. Sultan shields are scary. They are, but it's only Sector 2. 
But Zoltans in general are scary. You'd go to Zoltan because Glaive can cut through. I don't know, man. It's still, I think a single Zoltan border police ends the run. I'm going here because Zoltan border police just end the run, I think. Border police have ended too many of my runs. Yeah, as Britnoth says, how do we deal with border police and Zoltan ship with three weapon power? We die, probably. That is an asteroid field. That is a forced asteroid field. Oh, Jesus. I'll take one jump in hopes of something. I don't know. Okay, ship fight. Okay. God, this is not... Great. I want the swipe to get to the weapons as fast as possible here. Force to do some upgrades? I'm not sure if we do the upgrades or if we just hope that level 3 cloaking can carry us. I'm not sure. Did you see that? That turn green, that is really close. That's really close, man. Okay. Do I get upgrades? Oh man, engine and power. Forced asteroid field. Not close enough, sure. How much does it cost us? What if I just did the power? You think weapons buffer might be better? Man, I need I might need to do both so I can have my full dodge while cloaked. Both are expensive. I think we do this. We have NG for repairing. <sighs> Go. Park NG in the weapons, you think? I want doors in case a fire starts. Oh god, offensive drone as well. Okay, get that as late as possible. Jesus. Combat drone in an NG field, in, in, in an asteroid field. This is insane. Okay, it's not weapons. That's a dodge, too. Oh, that's my piling on fire. Okay, thank God we one-shot him. But our ship is broke, so that's bad. Spamming cloak right now. Okay, I don't need to cloak it. Okay, well, we lived. Asteroids hit their shield. Oh, okay, thank God. Uh, distress beacon... Can Distress Beacon be an asteroid field? It can, right? I have NG for some things, too. Let's go for it. Well, let's scrap. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that event. Maybe that was a misplay to take that event. I'm not sure. Ooh, nine health. Okay. Nine health, no shields, and a dream. So, in hindsight, the weapon buffer was not needed. Don't say it was the wrong choice, but it might cost us being able to get shields or something. Three borders. Oh my god, come on in and get vented, I guess. Jesus. Oh god, don't die. Okay. 
Okay. Whoo boy, okay. Four free borders. You know why why not four free mantis borders? Why not? By the way, F U F T L. Okay. Should still be able to get hacking, which is the bigger prize. If no hacking, then we can get an ion blast, etc. to immediately use it. Ion blast or ion stunner. True. Well, this run is definitely not being an easy stealth B run. I don't know what would be an easy stealth B run. But it's definitely not what this one is currently. The preventing, I think, helped us a lot there, too. Okay. Continuing to run, run isn't dead. It's a good run so far. There you go. Always look on the bright side of life. Don't be angry. Just give a whistle. Easy as first jump pre-igniter. Yeah, I guess that would be. Well, I was hoping for scrap before this door because we don't have enough for hacking now, right? I have to sell long-range scanners to get hacking. Is uh, selling long-range scanners worth hacking in this ship? I feel like it's not because then you just jump into a solar flare or something else and die. I think it might be valid. And we're going into Sector 3 without any offensive upgrades. We do have enough for the weapons you were talking about. Any of the one power weapons, even heavy laser would would be something to get him down to one shield. Man, if only I could go one, two, three, four, I'd do that. Small chance there's another store over here. Small chance for exit beacon store. Oh, man. There's the hacking. Oh, man. It sells for enough to have one scrap extra, right? So I can't even get a repair with it. Wow. Wow. So we have to do the worst thing, and that is lose long-range scanners to get hacking, to have enough offense. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, and I think it's the right play. Oh, man. Losing long-range scanners feels like kind of the death knell because um, I won't know if I'm going into, into asteroid fields and solar flares and all that. Did you wear off, please? Okay, I'm I don't know about death knell, but... Seven scrap. Wow, game. So generous. Dude, this ship sucks. It does. It does. And we're seeing all the reasons why, man. All right. So next is probably power. Or still try to save up for shields. I don't even know, man. I don't. I don't know what the next, what next upgrade is. Oh, thank God. the The next thing we need to do is get free stuff. That's the next thing we need to do. I don't think we need to hack here. If he goes in weapons, actually, we might need to because it's slowing down our charge time. So, 
Okay, he didn't, so we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Free stuff is appropriate. Well, that we survived this long on this ship to get some free stuff in Sector 2 is, I guess, an accomplishment, but... Okay. All right, civilian sector. Oh, do we go NG Homeworlds for f more free stuff poten potential? NG Homeworlds has those two shield ships with multiple defensive drones. Is that a reason to not go to NG Homeworlds? No, you don't need to event heal bait. I already have less than 45%. Flurchin, do you see? Do you see? Civilian has better yield usually because of the nebula. Uh, not guaranteed. I, I, I agree with you. But what I'm thinking about is things like free repairs that might get us back in this game. And NG Homeworld is more likely to have that kind of free stuff. NG Sector 3 can have three shields. Um, All right, let's go civilian, I guess. Hopeful free stuff here, I guess. Okay. You all help me decide. Do I do I get power or do I just save for shields? Is this is just is this everything has to be saved for a store with shields now or do I need to get power? I guess I have just enough power to hack and use my level 3 cloaking, so I probably need to save. Uh, it is at 51%. Wait, why did I? Oh, why did I? Sensors, that's why. Okay, never mind. I, I do have to have one more room vented. You're correct. I had my sensors vented earlier. That's what, it was, that's what I was doing earlier. Sorry. This will work. All right, so it's all about saving, I guess. Man, I don't even have long-range scanners to know if I'm jumping into an asteroid field or whatever. Okay, one shield, so we don't have to use a drone part here. Nope, I need way more scrap than that. Honestly, I wonder if it's better to do this. So that if it's a fire, he can put it out faster. Maybe that's better. I was having him free to do all borders, but that would actually be better right now. Okay. Man. I could be jumping into a solar flare, an asteroid field, any one of these jumps. Two shields. And Zoltan shields. Do I pay a toll? Um, I'm gonna be able to hit his weapons with our first shot for one. I'm trying to decide how I do this. If the ion's coming for my weapons, that would take off the glade beam's charge. Um. I honestly don't think I could afford to pay the toll, honestly. Uh, most likely, well, the ion's gonna get a shot off, so I think I have to... I have to watch where the shots go, and if ion's coming towards weapons, I have to cloak it, I think. Which sucks, but I think I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know if they fire at the same time. That would be amazing if they do, actually. That's really good. Just don't hit. Okay. All right. Them both going at the same time is beautiful for us. Honestly, didn't expect that. Okay. Do I hack now? I'm going to hack the weapons. I think this is going to be a longer fight, but... 
think that's a safe play. Easy game, so easy. Nope. Okay, our cloaking will be up for this. Well, I have beam hit at very tip of line because the way that beams interact with Zoltan shields means that you need the end of the beam to be hitting where you want damage to happen after the Zoltan shield is down. That is a great um, double reward right there. Um, when you beam a Zoltan shield, when the shot hits the Zoltan shield, it doesn't immediately go down. There's a delay. So you need the very end of the beam to be just entering the room you want to do damage to, I believe. Other people can tell me if I'm wrong about that, but I believe that's the way beams interact with Zoltan shields. Uh, and that's uh, that keeps them from running. We have a defense drone to sell. We're looking for... I think with these two things to sell, I have enough for shields now. Yeah, no problem, Wilby. That's free stuff, man. Oh, I was really hoping for a store up there. Please don't be an asteroid field. Okay. Please don't be a beam drone ship. He's going to hack my engines. That should be fine. And I hack his weapons. Beam his Zoltan shield twice and the damage is applied a short distance from each end. Um, The ion goes off before our shot. But I only do one damage to weapons if I don't hack shields. I think I actually hack shields here. And that means I have to let this hack happen. Um, so I let the ion fire, but I should be able to... No, I let the ion fire, I cloak it... That should give me the time to get our thing off before missile, as long as I hack at the right time, which this timing is going to be kind of tight. We do this. Okay, that didn't go off when I thought it would. Okay, good timing. We get hit by one missile. I'll, I'll take that. I don't know that I could have gotten that perfectly timed. Maybe. Okay. So I'll, I'll take that. There's only one damage missile. <laughs> I mean, I am at eight health, but, you know, seven more than we need, as Chad is so fond of saying. Is that just Glaive? Yes, that's just Glaive. This ship starts with just a Glaive beam. Oh, wrong person there. I maybe should have hit weapons first, but I was afraid the level one hack was not going to get the two shields down. So if it didn't get the second shield down, honestly, I should have just hit the weapons first. Because even if it didn't get the second shield down, hitting the shields first wouldn't have made any difference. So that was a slight misplay. I think I could have optimized that by hitting weapons first and not taking that damage. We got lucky that the shields went all the way down. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Come on, store. All right. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay. We got enough for shields, man. Please, for the love of God, have systems in this store. Okay. What else you got? Okay. Okay, we have shields. We have shields. What else are we doing here? Is it time to just start actually getting some power? Maybe sell and get backup battery? Or sell and get level 2 hacking? I need to repair. I need to repair. I need to do a couple things here. I'm thinking about backup battery and repair, and that's all. 
There's also the option of level two hacking and repair. If I don't, if I do that, I don't have the power to really use these things. I think we do this in repair. I'm gonna do that much repair. Battery repair, then hacking too, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Then shields too, and we are sort of stabilized. Sorta. Sorta, sorta. Okay. Yeah, the repair's cheap, that's true. In Sector 3, I think that's kind of lucky to be that cheap. Okay. I'm a little late here. I need to move my crew around a little bit too. Okay, I'm gonna hit weapons with this shot. Hmm, didn't do the full one, but we have a shield. Damn it, I was too, well, it was too late. Now my problem is that I have backup battery. Damn it, I should just backup battery debt. That was a misplay. At least he's not running. Now he's running though. We should be okay, though. Oh god, I don't think we're okay. Damn it. <sighs> now I wish I still had the fucking FTL jammer. God damn it, man. Bullshit running away. And that's another reason why Glade Beam is one of the worst weapons of the game. So goddamn slow. I don't know how I w could have stopped him from running there. I don't quite know how I could have stopped him. And not take damage. Need a pre-igniter of the weapons trash. There's a couple weapons like that. Flak 2 I feel similar, similar about. Damn it, man. So, God, I need power, man. Even with backup battery, I just don't have the power. Okay, one shield ship. Oh, I think this is a Gnor fight, right? That's a halberd beam with cloaking. Can we take this? I mean, as long as we cloak the ion, we're not guaranteed. We're guaranteed to keep our weapons online, right? Oh man. God, I feel like I can't skip fights, though. I'm gonna have to wait through two cloakings. But if I cloak level three, that'll buy us extra time. All right, I think we take this. Can hack the weapons, you think? Oh, uh, with only one shield, maybe you're right. Maybe I can just do that. Yeah, let's hack their weapons. Let's do that. As cloaking wears off, that's what I'm gonna hack. Be as late as possible. We have to wait for his cloak. Oh, he's gonna get a halberd beam shot off. Where are shields? I didn't see where shields are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they have cloaking. That's the reason I was so worried about this fight. Just the fact that they have cloaking. Let me do this. And 
No, I can't. I, I need scrap. I need scrap for days right now. I, I think I need to spend this 34 scrap on power. Good swipe. That uh, glaive beam barely fit across there, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if I've ever tested that swipe right there. Glaive beam on... Um, shields and weapons across from there. I think I did that one right. That's a good amount of scrap, though. I need to be able to have at least my systems online here, I think. What's up, Cruel Angel? I think next needs to be uh, hacking level two, I think. Oh, you meant their Halberd swipe was good because it didn't hit my weapons. Did a decent amount of damage, though. But you're right. It didn't hit my weapons. Even if it did, with one shield, I think we're fine. Oh, it's this. Oh, God, it's a pulsar. God, I wish I still had my long-range scanners. Oh, man. Um, okay, so what do we hack? If it's an offensive drone, we hack drones. If it's defensive drone, we hack weapons. Okay. Uh, what is that? I don't know if I have to do this. And hope that his shields go down. I think they're guaranteed. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Even with that hacked, I wasn't able to get that offline. This game is so stupid, man. I hate this game. Oh my god, I'm not even going to be able to get out, am I? Okay, we kill that. Okay, didn't hit my weapons. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's dead. Okay. God damn it, this game sucks. I freaking just repaired, man. How much did I just spend on repairs? Like 30 or something or 20? Back lower than I was before. Uh, this game sucks. Yeah, you can't get ahead on this ship. It's almost impossible. You have to get such good RNG, and we are not getting such good RNG. I don't know what would have been worse, uh, offensive drone or the iron intruder drone, honestly. Hey, Sharp Lucidator, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. I need like a free repair or something right now to get back in this, I think. Every other ship, rare run ending fight, stealth beat, typical Tuesday evening. Yeah. Uh, power for that is actually good. Um. Thank you, Rogue Luke, for the follow. Uh, I kind of need my drone parts, but I think I need power more right now. So I guess I take that. Honestly, that was pretty expensive, but... How are we doing, Rogue Luke? Oh, I like your name. I just got it. Rogue like, Rogue Luke. Good one. <laughs> oh, my God. These are such bad choices. Do I go for freaking first sector that we can get Lanius bombers? Or do we go for Zoltan border police? Let's go get killed by border police, I guess. Store. Do I just go to the store and spend all my scrap on repairs?
Watch my YouTube for a while. You didn't know I streamed on Twitch. Yeah, this is where most of my, well, all of my videos come from. Oh, man. Spending all of my scrap on repairs. And I think they cost three here, too. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub, hi, boy. I'm gonna be able to get, what, 10 repair at most? <sighs> I can't even get level two hacking, man, if I do that. And this is gonna be three shield ships, potentially, Sector 4. <laughs> I think I do that and hope we get 15 scrap from our next jump and get the level two hacking. We're just so stinking far behind, man. Can't afford heavy. I mean, we can't afford anything. We're. I need fuel too. Asteroid field. I didn't know I was going into. This is not a combat. Hell. Perfectly timed. F you, game. Fucking double asteroids hit at the perfect fucking time. God, that's bullshit. Alright, well, I'm hacking his weapons. If we get... Well, when we get through. Okay. Asteroid hit his drone, I think. Which is maybe buys us a little bit of time. Oh, that was a bad swipe. One health. Okay. Two health, I mean. Oh, God. I'm waiting for two asteroids to come in a row. I want to heal. I can't stick around here. One more than we need. <laughs> I can't even upgrade my ship with the scrap I just got. Okay. If we lose a jump, we're screwed there, so we go here. Okay, drone control, heavy laser, two shields. Oh, damn it. I could I had to do that or else the beam drone killed me there. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. I only got level two because I couldn't get my hand in time. Okay, that's good timing there. That's That dodge might have saved us. Oh, that dodge saved us. Oh, <laughs> they got my shield. GG. Two and out. Frickin' stealth B, man. Frickin' stealth B. Honestly, we got pretty far considering how sh sh shiz nitty tastic that run was. Uh, not gonna think for the 300 bits, yay for Gibbs, that's right. Oh man, that is tough. It's the game's fault. <laughs> the game's fault for randomly giving me the ship and then randomly wrecking me. GG no cookie time, yeah. Oh man, Stealth B, this is, there's a reason this ship is called the Streak Killer. And for all those people who say they love this ship, this kind of shows why this ship is so such a hard ship in hard mode, no pause. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Plunder Pig, appreciate it. Lots of slavers for scrap, but then awful sector choices, yeah. Sector choices and losing long range scanners to get hacking was the right play, I still maintain. But it meant we went into asteroid fields and ion storms that we didn't know about, so. Well, we only have an hour, which is not enough time for another run. I'm sorry, buddy, because I got, uh, I do have to go sing in a little while for rehearsal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just end with some storybook brawl. So, current streak of zero, sadly.